welcome back to the channel today we are going to attempt to do something crazy so uh, first of all I'm going to create a custom post type here that's collecting going to collect information and I'm going to use that information and send it to this JSON API uh, essentially it will not be like the server says here the resource will not be created but it will be faked the information we shall be sending shall have to be in a, in a JSON format of sort and it will have a title, it will have a body, it will have an ID and of course it will have headers here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I can actually just even use the posts here. So what I'm going to do is just create a bunch of new posts in here. So I'll just run through. Now we are ready, what we're going to do is that we're going to query our posts that we do have here. We'll get the information that we need, which is uh, the title, the body, and the ID. And then uh, what I'm going to do is just pass that on. And then eventually we'll see what we get here from our JSON API and see what it returns. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, make a query of, uh, of sort of our own to get all our post data. And so I'll just comment this quickly. Uh, so make query of our posts and this is we're going to just use a WP query uh, function in uh, WordPress so first thing it requires is that it requires some arguments in it and we're going to set this as a variable so we're going to call this a dollar query and we'll get the WP query of that and we're going to add in our arguments that we should be um, we are basically limiting our query so that we don't overburden our database. So the first thing about the arguments is that we're going to have, they're going to be in an array form of sort. So in here we're going to look for the post type of post. And then the next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to try to limit it so that we don't have too much data going out. So we'll have posts per page plural posts per page and we shall just have uh, 10 of those so we'll just do that that would be a good enough query that we're going to get after getting our post query we're going to look for any posts that are in there so if we say if the query that we've made actually has posts so have posts then we're going to do something about it so while we have those posts, while we have the posts, we're going to just look through each one of those posts. Uh, we're going to say query is actually the post. In here, while we have that post, we're going to look through and add data to our array. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create a new array and we're going to call it data send and it shall be equal to an array that is empty. So while that is done, we're going to get an array of data, which will equal to an array of data. In that, we're going to say, we're going to get our array in here and then we're going to add it to our data send. So data send, we shall append to it the array of data. So what here we'll get, we shall just require, we need to get the title. So we have a title. We are basing the information that we need off this particular piece. So we'll get the title and that is simply by getting a post dash title. Or we can just say it's actually equal to get the title. So then uh, we'll duplicate this. This should be a comma because we are working with an array. So we'll get the body. And this one will just equal to get the content. And then uh, our user ID for now, we shall just leave it as a static. But ideally we would have gotten the author ID. So user ID, we shall leave it as one and wrap this around in brackets. I'm just going to var dump our, our data send 
to see what we are having inside there. Let's just wrap this into its own function. So we'll just call this function get send data. So we'll call it, we'll give it a function of its own called get send data and we shall just move everything up. Then we're going to get this function and then instead of this, we shall have that in there and save this. So when we come back here, let's reload this and we see that we get an undefined function WP query in our queries API. We'll undo this because it's not affecting in any way. Oh, it should be a new, because we're instantiating uh, this class. This is a class, so we need to add new to it. So when I reload, see that we get back an object of data here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a JSON encode which is a function of our PHP that allows us to encode any kind of data that we have into a JSON format. So when I reload this, you'll see that we actually have a string. It's, it's actually just a string of data that we do have. So that's what we're going to send to our, uh, our fake API. So let's try to see how many posts that we have here. We have all these posts, but we are getting back one. So the reason we're getting one post here is that we are not merging actually these are two arrays. So what I'm going to do is use another PHP method. So we'll use array push which is a default method of PHP and then I will just try to echo what's out here and you'll see that we now have our full string with more than two, three, four posts. So we have three posts and that's what we actually want. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to save this call it uh, data push to API just to be more descriptive and then now we're going to start working on uh, on basically just pushing uh, our information to our URL. So what we're going to do is I'll just copy this and bring it here and I'm going to drop this information here. So we're going to be looking for this particular API where we're going to be posting and we're going to just add it here and the method that we're going to be using is that we're going to be posting and then when we reach here we're going to use post. That's going to allow us to post information to that URL. So let's quickly look this up and see what we actually need. So if we go to the codex you'll see that we have uh, what is here. It's explained, it retrieves a URL using the HTTP post method it needs two arguments, the URL and the args. So in the post, an example will have a remote post. Here is we'll put in the URL, we'll add the post method, which is this, can add a timeout, and our body is going to actually equal to this uh, data that we are sending here. So what I'm going to do is uh, send this out, and then I'm going to check if we get an error from our response, we should be able to just throw it off or we should be able to get our response. So if there is an error, we shall pass in the response and get the error and else if that passes to be true, then we are going to echo out our response. So let's go back to our plugin and reload this. So we get back a response like this because it wasn't an error but because we actually had something that worked out well and the message says it was a 201 and this information was created. Congratulations, this is how you send data to any kind of server that uh, is external from WordPress using your own information. So if we made a custom post type it would work out, if we made, uh, if we just use the ordinary post type that we do have, we still get a positive response from the information that we have actually got back. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on anything that comes up.